Hi, my name is George Barsonis, and I'm a professional developmental trainer for ViewSonic. Um, I have been working on this whole series on using Classroom with your students, and we are to a very important step. Once you open up your whiteboard, um, which is I'm going to click on the one called Classroom, how do we get our your students from their computer to the board? And so that's all about joining a session. And that's going to be a process where um, you have to make sure it's very clear so that you can get them to that. So what we're going to start with is I'm going to go and open um, the session. So right now I clicked on classroom. Um, and when I click on classroom, it opens the whiteboard. But there's something specifically different between this one and this one. This one is solo play by myself. Just want to create the lesson. When I click on classroom, though, it gives me a special tab that I need to have so that I can invite the students to it. And that's what we're going to work on. So I'm going to click on this one. And the difference between the whiteboard and the classroom one is you have the ability up here on the top right that this is now a public session that I can use with my students. So up here, this is what I need. So if I go and click on this, um, you'll see that it'll open up uh, a QR code uh, right here below me. QR code, and it actually gives you a link to my actual board. Now, I'm just going to talk to you right now about different options you might have here. So different options you might want to use and how you want to use that is that you have here a QR code that you can put up on the board or put on the screen. The kids can use the camera on their devices to be able to capture it. Um, this is the code to your actual, like think of it as a classroom. But if you look down here, um, this is what I usually put in Google Classroom or whatever uh, learning management software that you're using, Canvas or, or whatever. But if you notice, it has a naming convention. So if you look at it, it goes myviewboard.com slash classroom slash student. Then it has the question mark and then the C. No matter if you keep changing your session, you'll notice that when it has that equal sign, notice this code that's here. It's the code of what you have for your classroom name. So it's just one of those things that um, you could bookmark it or you can have it, but it might change. But this is where you find those things in there that you're able to look at this and then be able to figure out what are the things on there. This is how you can actually have it where the students can find it. Now, just to mimic this to show you, I'm just going to go and click on it on the uh, on the whole thing down here where it has the, the student thing on there. And so you notice when I click on it, it'll say copied. Oh, I see up there it said copied. And I'm just going to open up a tab and paste it so you guys can see what it looks like. So I'm going to paste that in there. So paste. And then um, and when I go in there, did I paste it in there? Yeah, I did. OK, so when I paste it in there, it goes. You notice that it's opening it up. Notice in the classroom, here is where the name of that we were talking about. The name of the classroom is there. So right here above me. And then here's where they have to type in their name and then click on sign in. And that's how they join your session. Um, I wonder if it lets me put in another one. I'm actually curious now. Let me see if I can keep adding different people to this. So this one's going to be called, um, let's do this one, uh, second test. So you guys can see uh, second test. And then I'm going to click sign in and let's see if it lets me in. Might be pushing my computer a bit. Yeah, it actually let me. So, oh, no, it didn't. Uh, I just realized something. Um, it just kicked out test. <laughs> so I can only join it from one computer. So uh, the first one called test is now out and second test is now in. And you notice George, which is on my personal computer, is on there. That's all the students have to do. So once they type that in, put in their name, this is where now you have the ability to manage them. You have the ability to share a screen with them. And then remember at the bottom, uh, once we start looking at the student dashboard and what they can do, this is where um, they will have the ability to be able to have a pin to share the board with you. But this is the easy way just to make sure that you know how you share your students. The information is by making sure you click on classroom. And when you click on classroom, on the top right where it says public session, that's what's opening up this banner. And if you look below me, you can share this link directly to them. Or what I like is putting it in Google Classroom so they can just click on it and go. And this will be your session that you're running with your students. All right. I hope that was easy. Hope you see how you can do this and that your students will be able to join you in no time and you guys can collaborate and work together. All right. I'll see you in the next video.